So at the end of season one, her detective agency is up and running. I don't wish to sound boastful, but I am the only female detective in London. <laughs> You're a what? She does have her battles, and she will always get, even if it's a small triumph, something. Uh, but the long game is what she's after. You scratch my back, and I'll scratch yours. Her most infuriating and most charming quality is her tenacity and her inability to <laughs> say no or give up. I definitely see Eliza as a feminist. That a lot of people would see her and be inspired. Your investigation agency. What you were doing is quite marvellous, Miss Scarlett. Interestingly enough, though, I think she herself has got a lot to learn about her role in society. It's standard practice for an insurance company to carry out their investigation. And they sent a woman? My favourite thing about playing Eliza has always been uh, she's just very witty. That is blackmail. That is business. So, do we have a deal? You brought your wife. She's not my wife. I'm a private detective. At the end of season one, we leave William and Scarlett skipping off down the street on the route to their, their meal together. And when we dive into season two, we see that the relationship has moved on. People will begin to gossip. He has to embrace some new characters too that sometimes help but often hinder him. He has a new boss and on the face of it, they have so much in common, they're both Scots, but slowly things aren't quite as they seem. Seems to me we have a conflict of interest here. No, I have not long been in this job, laddie, and I can assure you, you do not want to be the reason I lose it. We start to see more of Duke's world in Scotland Yard. When Duke needs something done, Phelps is doing it for him. And when you say anything, sir, boy, pretty boy, shut your gob and let the skipper speak. And then you throw Fitzroy into that relationship. It's a lot of fun. Screw your courage to the sticking place and we'll not fail. Lady Macbeth. Do we have to go with him? It depends whether you want to keep your job. Duke is at his best when he's dealing with this quite overbearing boss. Ah, Wellington. How are we? But he's also got this Wait, new you, young sir. recruit. How's young Fitzroy getting on? And he's sort of sandwiched in the middle. I love playing Duke. You just get to explore your character over so many episodes. His most infuriating quality would be his stubbornness. I have no inclination to be lied to again. I want that case file. But I also think that that could be one of his greatest qualities. He's got a good heart. He's a good man. I think that's a lovely quality to have.